hi everyone welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video as you can see from the title and from our thumbnail i will be sharing with you my tote handbag collection or to comment down below if you are wanting to see the specific bag i can absolutely do a view and show you the details and more information with a specific bag some of the tote bag that i own it's either a seasonal or limited edition i'm going to share with you a modeling shot towards the end that way you have a height uh, references if you are petite i am 5'2 so you guys can um uh, judge that yourself if you know you want to buy the tote bag but i just want to share this with you because i thought it would be fun without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the video one is my all-time favorite it is the limited edition kabuki and i love this piece i have used it so much so the first year i would say i baby the bag after that i don't baby it anymore and i still love it up to these days i use it every season i use it summer fall winter what have you i use this bag pretty much every day but i also have um something i don't like with this bag so this strap right here i'm sure you are really familiar this is the never full and when the bag gets heavy it does tend to uh, dig on your shoulder so as much as i love this bag i don't um use it anymore as my book bag i only use it for every day if i'm going shopping because you know if i go to school i put a book or binders it gets heavy i love this bag and this is totally worth it so this one was a reward for myself for getting a straight a on my first year of um semester first semester of going to college and this one has the pouch i will insert it right here because i forgot to grab it on my cabinet i love that this is a limited edition i love the happy print and it's so cute over here it's the print is just so beautiful this one will be my forever piece on my collection so the second bag that i want to share with you is from kate spade this is a beautiful blue with a sapiano leather I tend to grab a different bag every time I I plan to use this one but I have a funny story about this bag I guess at that time I wanted it so bad but once I got it I just don't use it as much it's very pretty and it is a sapiano leather so it's non scratch it's durable just like the michael course and i love it it has fit on the bottom so anyway the funny story about this bag is um i used to work in retail and i got the discount so i wanted to buy this bag as a reward for myself that was close to my birthday and then it ended up my husband also got me this for my birthday so yeah i bought i received two bags for my birthday for this one for myself and one for my husband so i ended up um returning the one i bought and i keep the one that my husband gave me as a birthday present that's my uh tips for you don't buy anything from your wish list before your birthday or christmas that, that way you won't get what i got <laughs> two bags at the same time so i thought it was funny yeah i haven't really used this much it's still brand new the inside is pretty it's like a striped black and white this is the second tote bag the third tote bag that i have is this michael kors with the stud a silver stud on both sides it is a pretty um leather as well it's a smooth leather but i don't see any scratch so it's like a a smooth 
green or it's a smooth non-scratchable leather and this is from Michael Kors I love this bag the strap is very comfortable on your shoulder it's not um it doesn't dig on your shoulder when the bags get heavy or full of stuff however I would say that the bag itself is already um, slightly heavy it's a massive tote bag this is probably the second to the uh, the biggest tote that I have and it, I love the um, stud on here it's silver as well as it has a fit on the bottom and what I like this is the twist here you can put your phone here and Michael Kors has uh, of the best quality of bags I'm still keeping this one just because I love the size and maybe one day I will use it again maybe my taste of big bags will come back and I will still use this one and I have the black one uh, exact the same I don't know why but that time maybe I just I was really loving a huge uh, bag so I got the black one uh, the same with this bag since I got it it's been it's been sitting on my closet so I have sold that one it's completely brand new everything is still attached even the strap um, wrap it was still attached so I sold it and I did not regret it and this one it's staying on my collection just because it is massive and I love that it has a zipper so if I want to use it one day as a carry-on, I can and I don't need to worry about it uh, spilling all over the floor, all my stuff and as well as it's secure and it is durable, it's non-scratch and this is the Michael Kors large tote bag. So the next on our list is this Fassel bag. I love this. I know it's a little bit kiddish but... You know what I love it it's so soft if you can touch it you're gonna fall in love I love how soft I believe this is a leather absolutely love this bag the shoulder strap is absolutely amazing it's so comfy it never digs on your shoulder if the bag gets heavy it's so comfy I love 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 it and it's very light so you don't need to worry about uh, getting heavy and it's just a, a black hole so you absolutely need to use a pouch I do use a pouch or a bag organizer but most of the time I use a pouch so all my stuff is on different pouch so that way everything is organized otherwise it's completely a black hole and there's no zipper the only thing that you have is this claps on here and yeah but so far I have no problem at all and finding my stuff as long as you put it on a pouches and there's no feet on the bottom and I use this bag for every day and for school so this is the fossil bag I don't know the name I believe this is one of their seasonals I love this bag so much and it's one of my favorite actually so yeah this is the fossil bag I believe this is number five on our list this is a small Michael Kors. I believe this is a small one or a medium size. I believe this is my very first tote bag and I use it so much every day and I wasn't um, careful with this bag at all. I highly, highly recommend this bag. It is a Sapiano leather. I love the color. It's so neutral. It can dress up or down. I love the gold hardware. But this bag I used to love a lot and use a lot. And it's not as big as most of my tote bag. So that's probably why I stopped using it after getting more uh, tote bag. Just because I love uh, the bigger one because this one is a little bit smaller this bag is a well love and I think it's going to be forever on my collection just because this is my very first I considered the uh, luxury uh, brand at that time the Michael Kors and they are durable they last me many years and you can tell I use it so much the hardware started to uh, peel off it's it's still good.
still usable um some leather here it got some cracks here but if i could buy this again i would um just because the strap is very comfy one thing i wish about this bag is i wish that is the strap is a little bit um longer but other than that i absolutely love this bag i think the reason why at that time i love this bag so much because i remember about a louis vuitton i forgot totally mm i believe that's the name but i will insert a picture similar to this bag and that i wanted that bag so bad however i couldn't afford it i don't have money and so we were broke then so that's why i got this bag and I absolutely love this bag it's similar to that it has the packet on both sides of the outside and I love it I use it this one and I think this is going to be forever on my collection because I will never um, part ways or never let this one go just because you know it reminds it has so many memories with this bag um, I use this one a lot as well when I used to work as a waitress so yeah this bag is my forever piece i highly recommend it i believe they're still available and to tell you the truth it was um uh, more expensive than now i think now you can get this bag for 198 back then it was 248 so it is cheaper and yeah if i would be given a chance to buy this bag again i would i'm actually thinking buying a different color i will absolutely buy and highly recommend this one to everyone i feel like you can get the same quality with the prada there's a piano and you know the louis vuitton is this is just as good quality wise but uh, way cheaper so I love this bag and so this is the Michael course so the next one is from Louis Vuitton this is my unicorn I call it unicorn in my collection this tote right here it's so gorgeous it is I believe this is the limited edition and they do comes now it's they have a different colors for this one and it seems like every season they came up with different um, color and I love this one this is probably the most um, expensive bag on my collection this one also will I will be keeping this one and maybe one day it will be my uh, baby bag and I, I hope that one day i can also pass this one on to my daughter some someday if i have a daughter i'll probably pass this on and she can have this bag i love it it has a multiple ways you got the top handle and then the long strap i travel with this bag a few times already it is absolutely comfortable a uh, strap i highly recommend this bag because I stuff it the bag gets heavy like fully um, like it's completely full all the way to the top I would say that this bag is so comfy um, I don't know if I can say that it's worth the money yet because I haven't used it as much as I use my never full kabuki and I'm just careful using this one as of now I didn't want to ruin this beautiful piece right here so this is the on the go on gm with the pastel uh, color i love the color combo on this one it is so gorgeous and it has the mini um logo here and then it's just a big logo on front and back and this is a gorgeous piece and a lot of this bag i have a video i'm gonna link it above here or in the description and i love that pastel color as well the inside so i have an unboxing video on this if you haven't watched that yet i suggest you go watch it and so this is my forever piece i absolutely love it and i love the color so the next one on our list is this tori birch 
bag. I believe this is seasonal. I use this one a lot for school. I absolutely love the print. It's so gorgeous. Love the print. It's so pretty. It's cream. Spring and summer. I love the it's mixed leather and nylon. And it's very soft. And it's just a massive uh, black hole again. You have to use pouches or uh, organizer. And it's very it's very soft and the the strap is very comfy it doesn't dig on your shoulder but this one is so pretty the problem of this one is doesn't have fit on the bottom but it's also soft so it's just it doesn't stay um it's not a structure bag i must say so when i put it down sometimes i'm scared that my stuff would be all over the floor in the classroom so I have to use a pouch or an organizer for this bag but yeah I highly recommend this one this is the Tory Burch uh, Ella they do come in different uh, print different um, they have the nylon just plain blue and black with a shiny uh, pattern here or they have a leather so they have multiple style with this bag this one doesn't have a uh, fit on the bottom, but that's okay. I still love this bag, and this will be forever a uh, piece on my collection. I highly recommend this one. I am thinking getting the solid black color. That way, I will have um, something that more dressy in a solid color, a tote bag. So maybe one of these days, it's either I will get that one or the long chump tote bag. So. This one is gorgeous and you have that clasp um, here. You can extend it, the clasp on. You can extend it so it will be wider. But I tend to just leave it and close. But I would say though that when you stop it, I put binders, books, and my wallet, pouch. It does, um, this one right here is easy to just open up. On its own the other one stays still but this one right here it does uh, open itself once it gets full but it does not bother me because once I stop it and it gets heavy or it gets like um, too full I tend to just leave it open so that way I have more room so this is the tote Ella from Tory Burch so the next tote bag is this from, this is from Kate Spade and this is a will love as well. I used to um, use it a lot but now I don't. Again, once that I have more selection of tote bag, I stop using this bag. However, I am still keeping this one on my collection because I tend to change my taste on bag often. So I don't want to have regrets and I believe this is another one that was seasonal. I think this one was on their fall and winter collection. So this is a seasonal bag or a print and I do love this one. I love how long the strap here and the uh, strap is very comfy. It's leather. I also love that it has a zipper and it's a massive a uh, tote bag so it's perfect for school and travel maybe I will take this one with me one of our next uh, travel because I haven't used this one and it's a very carefree bag it is a non scratchable leather it's not sapiano so this is a very comfortable um, bag and it has fit on the bottom I love the color it's just beautiful I think you can get away using this one all season long because of the multi-color you get the uh, neutral here and then you get the full color here or the winter so I love this bag and I don't think I would let this one go I highly recommend this one because it's big the zipper it, you can fit a lot and the strap it is a comfortable strap 
I don't know if this is still available, but they might have something similar. This will be perfect as well as a baby bag if you are a mom. And maybe one day I can use of this. One, one day when I become a mom, maybe I can use this one as a baby bag. So this one will be forever on my collection. So the next one is this bag right here. This is from Spartina442. There's a story about this bag. One summer, I don't know if it was a year, last summer or two years ago, the pineapple was a big thing at that summer. That was like the theme of that summer. And it was a pineapple, the pineapple, and I was obsessed with pineapple at that time. I think maybe two years ago, I would say. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I love that bag. I have to have it because we like to go to PCB and I would love to use this one as my uh, beach bag. And I did use it but one time only when we went to PCB. Yeah, we keep coming back there. I use a different bag so this bag right here I only use it one time when the pineapple was a big deal and I'm still keeping this bag just in case the pineapple would come back love this bag again but the strap of this it is comfortable and it has that leather or a nylon inside so it's wipeable so it's perfect as a beach bag and the color is gorgeous and you have that uh, more like Hawaiian color here. It's so pretty. But hopefully maybe maybe I should take this one the next time we will go uh, on a beach vacation. So maybe I will use this one. This bag is from Spartina. Maybe I say it wrong but yeah that's, this is the bag. So the last but not the least is this new bag. You've probably seen this already. If you haven't yet, I will link it above or put it on the description below so you guys can see it. I did an unboxing video of this bag and what fits. So this is the Michael Kors. I, not Michael Kors. This is Kate Spade. And this is the Small Toe Adele. I love this bag. I haven't used it. I know I said that that I love and exci I'm excited to use this bag. However, I haven't used this bag at all because I tend to grab a different bag. So if I want to use something like a new uh, like a a summer color, I tend to use this bag right here or the Neverfull. So I just I haven't had a chance to use this one. So this is the Kate Spade Adele on Toad. I think this is still available. Uh, you guys can check it out. And it has fit on the bottom. It's a tote bag and I love this bag. It is a, I believe it's non scott So I can't really speak too much about this bag because I haven't used it. But it is a soft leather. When I unbox this, I stop it with all my uh, school stuff. It is very comfy bag. But I will, if you want to see more details with this bag and what fits in the unboxing video, it's gonna be linked above or below. You can watch it after this video. So now you have seen my tote bag collection. I am going to do the modeling shots. So you guys can have an idea, height references. I am 5'2", so you guys can have a best judgment if you are the same height or if you're referring or thinking buying this bag. So now I will share with you the modeling shot.
Thank you so much guys for watching. Please consider subscribing. Comment down below what you think. Highly appreciate it. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on my next one. Bye guys.